Yeah, so then, but it just kept going in layers upon layers of chaos and gore and blood and guts, and I was here for it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Us Nice, Us Nice, Us Nice Movie Reviews. I hope you are doing well. Y'all, today we are revisiting, or should I say revisiting? Yeah, I guess we're revisiting the Evil Dead franchise with Evil Dead rise okay so i watched this one at home from the comfort of my sofa and i was totally here for it so i want to come talk about it for a minute do a bit of a spoiler review or spoiler free review now like i always say in these if you don't want to know anything about this film before you go into it and i'm the only thing you've clicked upon finding this we're gonna go on and click off the damn video you don't need to be watching it if you want spoiler free okay now what i want to do first is start with the imdb page we'll look at that and then we'll go from there okay so there are little synopsis here what Whatever, it says a twisted tale of two estranged sisters whose reunion is cut short by the rise of flesh possessing demons thrusting them into a primal battle for survival as they face the most nightmarish version of family imaginable what well, now this is directed by Lee Cronin writer Lee Cronin stars Morebe I hope I'm saying her name right Pease Richard Crouchley and Anna Marie Thomas okay Okay, let's go a little bit deeper into the plot line. Again, I'm just going to kind of keep it very superficial, but just so you can kind of get a general vibe of it. And then I'll talk about some of my critiques and positive things about it after that. So we have a couple of sisters. We have a family. One of the sisters, her name's Beth. She works on the road. She's like a rocker chick, that kind of vibe. And the other sister, Ellie, she lives in a pretty rundown apartment in Los Angeles. She has three kids. Husband's now gone. Uh, the one sister, the rocker sister, basically finds out some information that draws her back to L.A. She's going to go over there. We need to solve this, whatever. She shows up, essentially unannounced, on the doorstep. But here's the thing. The reunion is thrown into a total curveball at the discovery of a very creepy book in the bowels of the building. And all chaos ensues okay now that's literally a, a surface level okay so there's two versions of this if you are familiar with the franchise and if you're not if you're not you're gonna be like huh what that's so general paul well trust me there's very few descriptive words for this franchise right uh if you are familiar with it then you'll get it you already know right that book comes around chaos ensues okay um so there's that now that being said let's talk about a few things I'm just going to say this for a like a, a revisit, a remake, a whatever. Y'all, they did an amazing job on this. I was shocked, okay? Because I went into this with very low expectations. I was like, oh God, what kind of money grab is this? So here's the thing and some quick history with my, you know, whatever you want to call it, my history with franchise. I was introduced to Evil Dead in grade school, like probably middle school at a Halloween party. Uh, we actually had it here, but I rented a bunch of movies. Evil Dead was one of them. I had never seen anything like it, and I had been watching Fridays, Elm Street, stuff like that, but Evil Dead was like a category to itself of just this roller coaster chaos gore and this one does the same thing now as far as the characters go yes we have all these characters the the performances are great are we looking for in-depth huge mega performances no right don't need to know a ton about the characters but the actors actresses bring it to the table with their performances and do an amazing job which was again unexpected for me right again we're not looking for or expecting some huge dynamic like you know get all up into the characterization that type thing but they bring it up to it a huge part of this franchise to me is the ability to go from zero to 100, back to 50, up to 150, the whole nine yards, right? And the characters do that in this, and they each do it very well, in my opinion. Now, aesthetically, the film sets the tone, right? If you're comparing it to Evil Dead, like, oh, we're in a cabin in the woods and a group of friends and blah, 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 and now it's a family in LA and a rundown apartment, obviously totally different vibes, okay? However, this, it starts off, it's dark, it's gloomy, it's dirty, it's run down, it's grimy. It is an aesthetic. It's almost like noir. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but like the aesthetic of the film is a character in and of itself. And that's, and honestly, to me, it does it a little bit better than the original one did, but you can't really recreate that because the original, again, was, you know, back in time, a different film, different, that kind of stuff, right? Um... But this one does that really well, and it created that. It was such a dark, 
or I shouldn't say energy, but a dark film, like almost to where you wanted to turn the brightness up on your screen, right? At least I did, okay, because, you know, I mean, I ain't, I ain't no young or nothing, okay? So, one of the things for me in an Evil Dead movie that I am expecting at this point is essentially a roller coaster ride. What Evil Dead does and what this one does to me very well is you start off and you go up the roller coaster hill. The hill is not that long, right? And then when you go down that hill, it doesn't let up. There is no winding out. It is layer upon layer upon layer of chaos, of gore, of drama, of this. This leads to this, leads to this, leads to this, leads to this. You go so far down into the depths of hell that you're like, we'll never get back out of it, right? It's just horrible. And this film does that. And that's one of the things that the original did that I had never seen before. I was like, I mean, the story, it's like almost this epic story. And this felt like that too. Now, another thing that this one did well is it was like a bookend, if you will, where we see a scene in the very beginning, you start to wonder, well, what does that have to do with it? And it answers your question at the end. And I was like, okay, cool. Enjoyed it. So overall, here's my thing with this film. Definitely need to see it, right? I mean, this is when I called one of my friends up. I was like, you you need to watch this, right? Like, you need to check this one out. Like, it's not it's not a money grab. They have done a really good job at it. Uh, if you're a fan of the franchise, you've already seen it. You already know, right? Uh, but if you're a fan of the franchise and have not seen it because you're questioning it, you need to see this one. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. Evil Dead is just, it's an entity of itself. And this one stays true to that. Yes, it has a more polished new vibe to it but they've done such a good job in creating just the doom and the gloom and the never ending chaos that goes along with this film and with what i've come to know as like the evil dead brand so that means that it gets a slice it gets a spice it gets a dice and also i forget to put this in whenever i watch films at home i used to say in the things that the reviews i did before did it make me put my phone down yes this one made me like literally stop and be like where how did we arrive here? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just kept going so far down the rabbit hole. I was like, what? So, yeah, definitely go check it out. And if you have already seen it, let me know in a spoiler-free kind of comment down in the comment section what you think about it. Anyways, that's it. I do appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think of it. And until we see each other on the old sofa, on the old chair, to talk about all these films we talk about here, I'll see y'all soon.